everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Just Get Hired podcast. I'm your host, Jessica Fiesta George. Today, I'm going to be the one spilling the sauce because I want to talk about something that really shook up the tech industry lately. And I'm talking about the massive CrowdStrike outage. Do you remember that? Well, this incident had huge implications for businesses across the globe. And that had me thinking about HR systems and when was the last time that we had this kind of conversation? How is this going to impact the future of technology when it comes to our people operations? Well, if you're new to the show, welcome in. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. You know that this podcast is your go-to resource for all things career related. I want to say a huge thank you to the Spicy Gnome for sponsoring the summer series we're calling Spill the Sauce, where I'm bringing in industry experts who are guiding us through different things that will help you level up your careers. All right, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, there was a huge IT meltdown that was caused by a faulty update from CrowdStrike. And if you're not familiar with CrowdStrike, it's a U.S. cybersecurity company that offers cloud-based endpoint protection solutions, and they have a flagship product that they call Falcon. Uh, Falcon uses AI technology to detect any type of cyber attacks or malware across different networks and endpoints. Well, if you are a customer or your organization relies on this company, you probably know what I'm talking about because you were impacted when you turned on your laptop or you turned on your computer, you probably got that cringy, what I call the circle of death. And if you were one of the thousands of people who were traveling that day, you were probably also stuck at an airport. It had massive implications for 911 centers, call centers, banks, hospitals, and of course the airlines. And one airline in particular, which happens to be my favorite airline, is still recovering from this. It's been a true customer service nightmare. And that's Delta Airlines. So Delta Airlines, was heavily impacted. They had to cancel over 5,000 flights and it has cost them over $500 million, probably more. But Ed Bastian, who is the Delta CEO, talked about this on CNBC. And he was talking about how Delta really relied heavily on Windows and CrowdStrike. And that just turned out to be their Achilles heel. He even mentioned that they really relied too much on just one tech platform. And that's why I want to do this episode, because as HR leaders, I think we have been putting a lot of reliance on whatever our HR IS system is or, you know, your HCM system. But experts say that you don't hear a lot about this when it comes to Apple products, because Apple has stricter controls over third party access, which gives them better security and uptime compared to Windows, which has a more open system. And a lot of companies like the functionality of Windows, and that's why you'll see more companies do that. But it also makes the system more prone to big failures, and that's what we saw with CrowdStrike. So as HR leaders, what can we learn from this? Now, I've been a proponent of really putting all of my eggs in one basket. I've been trying to make sure that the companies that I support, we streamline processes. And so I've been one to advocate that we try to find an all-in-one system where we can do payroll, HR, recruiting, onboarding, benefits, learning management under one umbrella. I'm probably going to take some of that back because after this incident, I think we need to learn how to mix up our tech stack. So that's my number one takeaway from this. Maybe we should start looking at multiple vendors because that would give us a layer of security and protect us from a single point of failure. So let's not put all of our eggs in one basket. The second thing is investing in redundancy. It's very expensive if you have to do it at first, but I think we have to have enough backup systems and regular data backups just in case something does happen and we can just make sure that everything is running smoothly. I mean, what are the chances of it all going down all at once? The other thing is to make sure that our systems are tested all the time and that we have updates. So if you have an IT department, hopefully they handle this. If you're a small organization and can't afford a dedicated IT person, you might wanna look into outsourcing some of your IT functions to avoid disruptions. And then we need to start staying ahead of the latest trends and potential issues. Work closely with your IT team. 
so that you can stay ahead of the curve. They're already in the know of what's happening and trending with businesses that are similar to you. So stay close to your IT team. They could be your best friend, especially during something like this. And then think about using solutions that work across multiple operating systems. Again, not putting all of our eggs in one basket, but it does reduce the risk of relying on a single platform. So if we think about automation, it's here to stay. I am a huge proponent for automating as much as possible. A lot of our businesses have been manual for a long period of time, especially the founder-led organizations. And so introducing technology is a tough pill to swallow for some businesses because they have been used to doing things the old fashioned way. But automation is something that can be a total game changer and I'm never gonna change my tune when it comes to that, but it will help increase efficiency. If you can learn to automate and technology, it helps us with this. You can re handle repetitive tasks a lot faster and have fewer errors than if a human was doing it. And that will free up your team really from doing more strategic activities. Now there's an initial investment, a lot of CTOs, COOs, CFOs, they hate when you want to introduce new technology because it just means it's gonna cost money, which impacts the bottom line. But if you can enhance your accuracy and reduce the risk of human error, then ensuring that you have accurate data and processes will be especially critical when it comes to compliance and reporting. And then as businesses grow, as they should, you need to look at automation and how to scale your operations more seamlessly without having to really increase your workforce size. So increasing headcount is also something that impacts the bottom line. And so if you can eliminate adding additional headcount because you are automating, then that will save some time and money. Employees can focus on more engaging and more meaningful work, and then ultimately that boosts morale and retention. So I think it's a win-win. So automation is here to stay. You need to assess your current processes. What tasks and processes can be automated to improve efficiency and reduce your costs? You need to learn to choose the right tool. What you chose six months ago might not be good for you two years from now. And likewise, if you are still on the same HR platform that you were on three or four years ago, if your business is continuing to scale, that product might not be the right one for you as you continue to add headcount and locations. So choose the right tools, consider scalability. How easy is it for people to use? Does it integrate with your existing system so you don't have to recreate the wheel? And then start automating simpler tasks and then gradually moving to more complex processes. That will help any transition of implementation of a product or a platform a lot smoother. And then the number one thing I think a lot of us don't do well is that we continually train our team. When we're implementing new technology, you get that first six to eight weeks where you're assigned an account person or an implementation manager and you're doing the training, they're shadowing you and then they go away. But that product is constantly evolving. So after implementation, there should be continuous learning and everyone who touches that tool needs to ensure that they are trained to the most updated items that there are on that platform. So see if you can work with your existing account manager to ensure that they have up-to-date training and that they offer one-on-one -on -one training if you need it later on down the road. And then if you can monitor the performance of that system, make adjustments as you need to, that's just going to make organization more efficient and more effective. So to wrap things up, the CrowdStrike outage is just a huge reminder that we are very vulnerable to how our tech systems can be and how reliant we are on technology. If you mix up your tech stack, you invest in redundancy, improve your testing protocols, stay on top of the trends, consider cross-platform solutions, us as HR leaders can better prepare our organizations for future tech challenges. And those are all things that are gonna make you look golden to your CEO and COO and CFO. If we embrace automation, 
businesses can boost efficiency. We all know that. Cutting costs, saving costs, enhancing accuracy, scaling operations, that only improves employee satisfaction. And as HR leaders, that's the goal, right? Well, that is pretty much all I have. So I wanted to spill the sauce and get you guys to start thinking about the technology that your organizations are using. If you haven't had a conversation about it in quite some time, it might be time to put it back on the calendar. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Just Get Hired podcast. If you found this episode helpful, please subscribe, leave me a review, tell me what you want to hear more about, and make sure you share this with your network. I'm going to have a guest next week who's going to share a little bit more of insight with you about some career trends. So stay tuned to another Spill the Sauce series and stay tuned for more insights and tips as we navigate this ever evolving landscape we call work. Well, until next time, my name's Jessica Fiesta George. Don't forget, hit me up on social media. Find me at Just Get Hired. Catch you next time. Hey everyone, my name is Jessica. Are you ready to elevate your talent acquisition game and connect with top HR leaders across multiple industries? If you are, you don't wanna miss the Meeting of the Minds Conference on September 10th and 11th in Dallas, Texas. This event is brought to you by Self Opportunity and is one of the largest gatherings of VPs of HR, directors of talent acquisition, and other people in the talent and recruiting space just like you. Don't miss your chance to collaborate, share best practices, and gain invaluable insights. You can be a part of a conversation that is going to shape the future of talent acquisition. Registration is now open. Head over to motmcon.com. See you there.